in the near 2013 question the problem is like this from two dimensional motion mm, loss of motion momentum lot of things are involved in this an explosion breaks a rock into three fragments three parts in a horizontal plane two of them go off right angles to each other first part of mass one kilogram moves with a speed 12 other part of mass two kilogram moves with eight kilograms eight meter per second speed if the third part moves the velocity of 4 meter per second, what is its mass is? So let's try to understand what he is given, what he is given in the problem that uh, an explosion that was initially in the state of rest made into broken into three fragments, right? Two parts moved perpendicular to each other. So if it is M, it was divided as m1 m2 this is how the third part moves i will explain that m1 is given to you as one kilogram moved with a velocity of 12 meter per second m2 is a mass of two kilogram moved with a velocity of eight meter per second respectively See, let's talk about the initial momentum is zero because initial mass into velocity, whatever may be the initial mass is, it's initially in the state of rest. So its initial momentum equal to zero. What is the final momentum? Momentum of the first one plus momentum of the second one plus momentum of the third one. As no external forces are acting, momentum is conserved. P initially is 0, P1 plus P2 plus P3 it is not just the numbers, rather it is vectors. So you can say P3 bar is minus of P1 bar plus P2 bar. This is the direction of P1, velocity direction. This is the direction of P2. So resultant of P1 and 2, P2 will be somewhere in between them. This is P1 bar plus P2 bar. As P1 and P2 bar are that way, P3 will be equal in magnitude but in opposite direction. This is the direction of P3 bar. This is what the meaning of that is. Right? But their magnitudes are equal. Right? So let us try to find out what is the magnitude of P1 is how much first of all? M1, V1 m1 is 1 v1 is 12 so that is 12 kilogram meter per second p2 is m2 v2 m2 is 2 v2 is 8 so 16 kilogram meter per second but it is given that they goes off at right angles to each other p1 is perpendicular to p2 it implies p12 the sum of both of them is as they are vectors, the resultant of right angle vectors is root of p1 square plus p2 square. That is root of 12 square plus 16 square. 12 square is 144, 16 square is 256. That's root 400, that is 20 kilogram meter per second. That must be equal to p3 in magnitude. That implies p3 equal to m3 v3 equal to 20 m3 is not given for you but v3 is given for you as 4 equal to 20 so m3 is 20 by 4 that is equal to 5 kilogram we are not right talking about the direction of the in the problem but it's very clear that as p12 is in this direction third piece will move in the same plane opposite to the resultant of the first two vectors. That's how we have to solve the problem. To solve this problem, we have used conservation of linear momentum that when there is no external force acting, momentum of the system is always concerned. That's how we solve the problem. That's it. Thank you for watching.